Hey, 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 Scorpio. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily March reading. Uh, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it. Let's see what your energy is. What's Scorpio's overall energy? What is your overall energy, Scorpio? What's going on? The Eight of Cups. Scorpio's walking away. But the Eight of Cups walks to the Nine of Cups. So you're working on to your wish fulfillment. Whatever that. Uh, that's funny. The Nine of Cups. This is what's on your mind. And the Fool card. Well, what do you know? Ain't that the shit? <laughs> All right, so let's see uh, what's coming towards you. Interesting. If you guys want a personal reading, info's down in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. Change is upon you, Scorpio big change this is destiny's change this is a change of the wheel oh wow seven of swords this is what's coming at you uh-oh be careful out there let's see if this is uh hmm We'll see on the clarification. I'll get all caught up there. All right, so what's your response to this? Wow. And the Seven of Swords, your response is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you're going to concentrate on work. You're going to be working on something. And Seven of Swords is looking in the fool's direction. They're looking like at each other. How interesting. All right, let's see, let's see your advice. <laughs> there you are, you're always here, usually within the first 10 cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your number seven, spiritual number. All right, so Scorpio, very interesting. So, Destiny and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Be careful of self-sabotage, but also be careful of people around you. All right, let's clarify. What is Scorpio walking away from? Oh, the Nine of Cups, I mean the Nine of Pentacles. You're walking away from, uh, either you're walking away from a Virgo or you're walking away from being single. We'll see. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. You're walking, some of you are walking away from a job. The Princess of Wands. Ooh, that's player energy. But that can also be creativity. Clarify the Princess of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, something creative is going to make you a lot of money. Some sort of, think about what, what is fun for you. Whatever that is, do it because it's going to make you money. I don't care what it is. You know what it is. All right, so let's see the Nine of Cups and the Fool. The Emperor. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you decide what you want. That's funny. There's a lot of pink here. That's the higher heart, which is Jesus, really. 
the Ace of Swords. Is this here? Okay. The Three of Cups. Which row? This one? This one. Okay. So we're still in the Nine of Cups row. You feel at this point that you have clarity and truth. It could be you're reuniting with, with somebody from the past or it's a soulmate. It's a past life soulmate here. It could be just dating. Maybe you're, maybe you're walking to being single. Right? To date. I don't know. I there's there's a mixture of both of you. That's interesting. Okay, so some of you it's a reunion, some of you it's dating. All right. Very interesting. But you're going after whatever this is. The emperor doesn't look back. The emperor gets shit done. All right, so clarify the wheel of fortune here. This is so interesting. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Wands. Yeah, this has to do with stability, home. Could even be marriage. Like I said, for some of you, it may be a ah, choice between two. Or this is also moving. I have one more here. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mm -hmm. This is your love life that is moving. It's changing. Something's changing. The Five of Cups is clarifying the Seven of Swords. Uh, be careful of self-sabotage. This can get you into that energy. Because of the sadness from a past relationship, for whatever reason, gets triggered. It's like we can self-sabotage ourselves just from one action, right? I can get another one on Seven of Swords. What's this about? Hmm. Clarify. We have the Princess of Swords and the King of Wands. This is clarifying the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups. The King of Wands can be a player sometimes. You may be conflicted here for some of you. Do you want a commitment or don't you want a commitment? So you could go back and forth. That's for some of you. For others of you, it's total self-sabotage here. You need to listen to your intuition. Don't ignore something. There's something, see how she has a sword behind her back? Besides hiding it from others, she's really not dealing with it. Like, why is she hiding it? Why does she feel the need to hide it from others? Interesting, Scorpio. But you're pretty excited. Just be careful. All right, Eight of Pentacles. So the way that you're responding to this is through work. Let's see what this is. Eight of Pentacles, clarify. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Sun card. Let's get one more. <laughs> Ain't that a bag? Queen of Wands. Uh, divine counterparts here. 
it's sexy time but why the five of swords hmm I feel like you're putting a lot of work into this because this is your happiness here but see you get that five of swords in the middle of everything this is your response be careful of self-sabotaging hmm be careful of what think twice about what you're doing please because i almost feel like this can be subconscious for some of you so pay attention look at these sevens clarifying death clarifying you scorpio in the advice position is the seven of cups huh the two of cups <laughs> the three of pentacles work of course wouldn't be a scorpio reading if that wasn't there so i feel like they're saying transformation needs to take place here so make sure that you make that a priority and to look at your options carefully because you're going to have options so don't miss them right because you're pretty determined it's like um you have tunnel vision and the three of pentacles i'm getting teamwork from this working together right with another clarify the three of pentacles clarify the three of pentacles the hanged woman yes this is teamwork like seeing things from a different perspective so they're wanting you, they're reminding you of teamwork, you know, the concept of te teamwork, working together, compromising, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I feel like that's what they want you to be re reminded of. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Three of, ah, patience. Okay. You know what I feel like they're saying here, Scorpio? You want all of these things, right? Seven of cups. You want all of the cups. And they're saying be patient. Because you know how I said it's like you're very, very gung-ho here? They're wanting you. And I almost said, it, this is a he. Somebody's here, it's a he. They're wanting you to be patient, okay, with the three of wands. Yeah, that's why I was feeling don't miss anything. Right, because I feel like there's a lot along the way. All of this, and I feel like they're all good because there's there's all different things in these cups, but they're all fruitful, right? Okay, overall advice for everything. Overall. Overall, oh my God, it's almost three in the morning. My throat's killing me. <laughs> Six of pentacles. That's juggling two. Oh, mm. high priestess and the eight of wands. 
They're reminding you if you want to manifest something to keep it to yourself. She says nothing. She is mute. Nada. And to keep that passion going, continue to take action. But there needs to be balance. This is juggling two. Okay, clarify the six of one. Uh, clarifying the six of pentacles is the hair font. So I feel like they're saying commit to one. Right? This Taurus energy. Justice. Judgment. Balance. And listening to your intuition. I've been talking a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see? 16 minute video. Island. Solitude. Yeah. This will help you. Because I feel a lot, a lot, a lot of energy here. So don't forget to, to stop. <laughs> Chillax for a moment. All right, one more for advice. Oh, we have two more. Crystals, focus, absolutely. Look up crystals. Okay. And tsunami, wake up call. See, that's if you're not paying attention. That's what I'm feeling. You need to pay attention, especially with that seven of swords and five of swords, because it means different things for different people. So there is a group that needs to be careful. Okay, tsunami. That's that tower moment. If you don't make that decision, the universe is like, all right, get the construction crew. Right? We're taking the tower down. We have no choice. She's going to move this way. He's going to move this way. And that's the only way. Because he or she did not choose to go that way, if that made any sense. All right, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. You have a fantastic day and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.